all still going well with our Gemini 6 countdown here at Launch Complex 19. We've gone through a complete checklist once again, and we are counting. We will have ignition at zero, and some three seconds after ignition, the launch vehicle will lift off on the start of the Gemini 6 flight. We're cleared for takeoff. Roger, adios. Minus five, four, three, two, one. Ignition. Down, Gemini 6. Your pressure is slowly. Roger, Gemini 6, uh, monitor take pressures. Roger, Roger, pressure is down to about 32. All tanks are venting. Okay, no problem on these tanks? Negative. Okay, we're just sitting here breathing. This was a rough one for us. We'd been trained sufficiently, but this was different than any simulation we ever had. It did prove that man is still better programmed than any computer. Gemini 7, Houston. We were wondering if you saw the ignition at the Cape. We were in perfect position, but we never saw the ignition. We were waiting for the liftoff. Roger, apparently it was uh, on and off very quickly. We'll keep you informed. It was a great disappointment. We'd made two attempts to launch and still no liftoff. Let us know about the recycle as soon as you know. Will you please, Chris? Rog, uh, they're talking Wednesday at the moment, but nothing uh, final yet. Very good. Gemini 7, Houston, do you still read us? <laughs> Sorry to disturb your lunch, but we have a message here we think you'd be interested in. We're coming up on a special time here, about five seconds. Mark. You have just exceeded the world's manned space flight endurance record. Mr. Kraft wants to launch at 8.27 Eastern Standard Time. So some four seconds before that, we'll be looking for ignition. The spacecraft already is on internal power. All quiet on the communications at the present time. Out of my mark, 20 seconds. Mark, go. Five, four, three, two, one. Ignition. Engine start. Twenty-seven seconds after the hour. Flight dynamics says the uh, trajectory looks very good. Okay, their orbit is 87 by 140. At Cape Kennedy, the American spacecraft, Gemini 6, has finally succeeded in starting her journey towards the space rendezvous with Gemini 7, whose two astronauts have now been in space since December the 4th. They were actually able to watch the launch while they orbited. We're switching over to 6, Mike. Gemini 6, Canary, Capcom, how do you read over? Loud and clear, Canary. How are the seven boys doing? Did they go over a while ago? They sure did. They're about five minutes ahead of you. 
Roger. Tell them we'll see them at the next station. Uh, Roger, read you, Manning here. Uh, we have a Bermuda Vector for you. You're 87 by 140, uh, requiring an out-of-plane maneuver and a height adjust. The first maneuver will be a height adjustment required due to a seven foot per second underspeed at insertion. Gemini 6's actual apogee altitude is 140 nautical miles. The required apogee altitude is 146 nautical miles. To correct this condition, the command pilot will perform a height adjustment maneuver at the end of the first orbit using his aft firing thrusters. Gemini 6, Houston, you're coming up on one minute to the burn. Mark. We're showing the burn on the ground. Mark, burn complete. Gemini 7 is now here in a 161 nautical mile circular orbit. Gemini 6 is now here 560 miles behind Gemini 7 in an orbit having an apogee of 146 nautical miles and a perigee of 87 nautical miles. In this present orbit, Gemini 6 would catch up with Gemini 7 in approximately two hours. To allow the rendezvous to occur as planned, the catch-up rate will be slowed by two maneuvers. The first maneuver will be at second apogee applied in a posigrade direction to raise the perigee to 117 nautical miles. Gemini 7, Houston. The sixth burn is in approximately 10 minutes. I'll be switching to six now, and I probably won't be calling you back. All right, you understand, seven here. We cannot expect both spacecraft to be in the same, exactly the same orbital plane. Therefore, at two hours and 42 minutes after liftoff, Gemini 6 command pilot Wallace Yaraw will yaw his spacecraft to the south and execute a plane change maneuver that will place his spacecraft exactly in the same orbit with Gemini 7. Gemini 6, Hawaii, Capcom. How are you doing up there? Very good. Complete the plane change burn. No residuals. The fuel remaining is 75%. OK. Both spacecraft are now in the same orbital plane. Gemini 6, for the second time, will apply thrust at apogee to circularize his orbit at 146 nautical miles and to also slow his catch-up rate. At this point in time, Gemini 6 will be 15 miles below Gemini 7 and 140 miles behind. By this point in time, Gemini 6 should be within radar contact of Gemini 7.